Hey everybody, welcome back to Witcher Wednesday. In the previous video, we had done some work towards the main story. We had killed the Griffin for the contract. That was pretty intense. I'd highly recommend you check out the previous video for that specifically. We had also done some side content. We did some things for some achievements. We did some contracts, all that good stuff. It was a ton of fun. I'd highly recommend you check that out. Go ahead and click on the top right right now if you're interested in watching it. But with all that being said, let's go ahead and get started with this video. So right where we left off in the previous video, we were going to be talking to Vesemir in the inn. We're going to be headed to Vizima very shortly, I believe, so I'm very excited. And before we do get in there, I do have a save point because we are going to be going for an achievement. After, you know, we talk to Vesemir, we're going to hopefully unlock an achievement. So I have a save point just for that. So let's go ahead and get started without saying too much, you know, you know what I mean? Anyways, before we do actually get into the inn, I want to say once again, I have another coffee. I need more energy for sure. I just finished work and uh, I definitely need the energy. So cheers. You might see me uh, sipping on this throughout the video. Don't mind me too much. I'm going to get rid of the ice shaking, you know, that ice shaking. I'm going to get rid of that. So don't worry too much. Sorry if it distracts you. My bad. But let's get in there. Uh, Vesemir, here you are. Yennefer's in Vizima. Got a few friends there, so something wrong. Look around. Trouble brewing. Then it's time to go. Who are they? I like that one. Who are they? Who are they? Patriots. Drinking their seventh round for Tamaria. Fists starting to itch. Don't see any enough guardians. They'll find another foe. I'll buy some provisions for the journey. Then we'll go. Geralt. We should stay out of it. Just this once. Not gonna happen. You already know that's not gonna happen. What happened to the lilies? Took them down. Took them down to hang a golden sun there now. I cannot show Tamerian colors. They'll come and burn the tavern down. Maybe it's true what they say. You fond of the Imperials? You Nilfgaard's whore? Well, let that pass. I know grief eats at your heart. You know shit! They hang my sister, dragged her out of the cloister like a dog. Said Nilfgaard's no place for superstition. That they don't fear the wrath of the gods. And you, do you fear it? If not for Annie, your child would have choked on its navel string. You owe your son to Let my go. sister attending to the no. birth, and you don't oh. fear the gods' wrath. You don't oh. fear it, you cunt! <laughs> Leave me be! Holy shit. Recognize this medallion? You know what it means. Back off. You all right? Oh my god. They say witches steal youngins. That's true. What the Emperor promise you freaks? Your own land, like he did the elves once. Get out, all of you. We ain't going nowhere. Ooh. Neither are you. Let's go. They won't back down now. I can see that. Yo, this is gonna be awesome. All right, right off the bat, we are going for an achievement right away. We're gonna fire Igni, and then bam, we're gonna kill him ASAP. Bam, 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 bam. Come on, one more, one more, one more. Where's one more? Come on, give me, give me. Oh, did I get it? I might have gotten an achievement. Let's see, let's see. Woo. That's brutal. I didn't get the achievement though. Oh my god, I did it! Yeah, <laughs> I got the achievement. Butcher Blaviken, right. first try. That was so good. Oh. I got another achievement. Let's go. See his face. God save us. Be gone. Whoa. And don't ever come back. So much for not getting involved. Come on, let's go. Damn, that was crazy. Wow. Let's see what those achievements were. After this cutscene, I want to see what those achievements were. I don't even know what the second one was. I knew what the first one was. That's awesome, man. Roll. We didn't start it. Excuses, excuses. You've not changed a bit. 
Y Yen? How? I received a report about a witcher who'd appeared in White Orchard. I knew it was you, looking for me. I might have waited until you found me, but... Well, you know me. Patience has never been my strong suit. It's... Good to see you, Geralt. I... I'd even embrace you. Were you not covered in blood? Sorry. Wasn't expecting to see you. To be honest, this isn't at all how I imagined we'd meet. How did you imagine it? You didn't imagine you'd have a Nilf Guardian escort. Don't get me wrong, Yennefer. I'm glad to see you. But I do think you owe us an explanation. And I shall provide it. In Vizima. Ready your horses. Wow. That's awesome. I, I forgot that we see her. Like, I know the story. I forgot that we see her. And... I forgot the cutscene, like, the, the girl slamming the, the barmaids. I don't know what her name is. The lady behind the bar slamming her head. That was crazy. Oh my god, that was brutal. Um, anyways. <laughs> sorry to interrupt the conversation. Why Vizima? What's the rush? Why Vizima? We can talk here. Some charming orchards nearby. In bloom even, so you almost can't smell the corpses. A tempting proposition. Sadly, I must say no. You see, someone awaits you in Vizima. Someone who doesn't like to be kept waiting. Emperor Emir Var Emrys. Or, to those on more intimate terms with him, the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. Doubt I number among that group. For as I remember, last time we saw each other, he wanted to kill me. Well, now he wishes to make you an offer. The kind one can't refuse. I didn't, though I could have. Suppose I can hear him out. Wonder what he offered you. Hmm. Hmm. Suppose I can hear him out. Fine. Guess I'm willing to hear him out. The Emperor of Nilfgaard, Lord of Metina, Ebbing, and Gamera, Sovereign of Nazare and Vicovaro, will feel honored, I'm sure. What about you? Okay. I'm going in the opposite direction. I somehow doubt the Emperor's invitation mentioned me. Besides, I've got things to do at Caremore. I do remember. Oh, yeah, I remember. Thanks for your help, Vesemir. See you soon. Bye, Vez. How's your horse? Swift? Can't complain. Why do you ask? I'd like to be back behind some thick city walls as soon as possible. Let's go! Right it straight to Vizima. That's crazy. Let's get there. Achievement! We popped like three achievements so quickly. That's awesome. Find Yennefer of Bangerberg. Hell yeah, we did that. Awesome. Oh, so exciting. We're doing so well. Look at that. Just the beginning, but then. But then. Right now! Of this tomorrow, all right? After the audience. God damn, that was scary. Oh, 
Wow. This bard's tale begins near White Orchard, with my dear friend Geralt of Rivia seeking his lover of yore, the sorceress Yennefer. She'd eluded him for years, but now seemed just a few steps ahead. After many trials and tribulations, Geralt finally learned that Yen was in nearby Vizima. It must suffice. Think of your cares if I'm clean. The gentleman will refer to his Imperial Majesty by his full title or not at all. The gentleman will be seated on the bergère. The what now? In that chair. Katwin, we shave the gentleman's sideburns to half an inch. Look at that. See how we're shaving. I want, I want to shave, so I'm going to say fine for sure. But fun fact about uh, the facial hair of Geralt. As time passes, it just grows and grows and grows. It's actually really cool. If you, like, meditate, and it, it grows because you, like, of course, meditate over time. So it, I really like that part of the game for sure. And I, I want to change his hairstyle, too. I hope I can. I don't know if I have to go to a barber or if I can do it here. So and we're going to try to change his hairstyle as well. All right. Fine. Fine. Then what? Gonna do my nails too? If time permits. Sadly, the day is short. While the list of hygienic and cosmetic treatments that the gentleman should undergo is really rather long. What a dickhead, huh? Tilt your head back, please, and sit still. You got it. Let's see what we got. And prepare to answer some questions. General, I, I am not certain this is the appropriate time. I can't think of a better time. Men turn honest when they feel a blade <laughs> at their throat. Movran Vuris, commander of the Alba Division. Before they take you in to see the Emperor, Richard, there's some information I need you to verify. It's a formality, but one that must be seen to. Sure. Paperwork's gotta be in order. So, Geralt of Rivia, place of birth unknown, parents unknown, age unknown, all insignificant details. Let us proceed to more recent events. The siege of La Valette Castle. The fate of the defending commander one, Arian. I killed Arian during the siege, just happened that way. I spared his life, he escaped. So this is probably from like a, the previous games, right? I wonder if this is you creating the story yourself. Like you're saying he sp you spared his life or he escaped. Like that's you writing the story. You know what I mean? I th I feel like I explained that well enough. I'm gonna say I spared his life because I'm I'm a nice witcher. I'm a nice witcher. We fought on opposing sides, true. Then we landed in the same dungeon. Arian escaped, set fire to the castle on his way out. So that is how the blade started. Our reports suggested the dragon was responsible. Moving on. You then found shelter in Charming Flotsam, and from there made your way to Vergen. My question is how? Got out of Flotsam with Vernon Roche. I joined Lorveth. He helped me out. I'm going to say Vernon Roche. I got out of Flotsam with Vernon Roche, commander of the Blue Stripes and- A murderer of non-humans. We know this gentleman well, Witcher. You forge interesting alliances. Something tells me my most interesting is yet to come. Go on, next question, before my beard grows back in. That's good. We shall That's a good one. You again if it does. Very well. The infamous summit at Loch Muin. You were there. 
and once again meddled in the affairs of the mighty. Had to save Triss. Had to save Triss. The mighty had imprisoned Triss Marigold. Ought to know I care about her. And I tend to rescue those I care about. And so you did, handing Radovid control of the Conclave and Council of Mages in the process. Nilfgaard recently started a war, unprovoked. So do us both a favor and stop moralizing. The gentleman must sit still. I'm almost done. I'm afraid I might find that difficult. Because, from what I know, shortly afterwards you watched a defective megascope blow your friend Sheila de Tatsovil to bits. Oh, I'll say she escaped. I watched her get in the megascope, but ultimately freed her from the trap your man Letho of Gullet had set. Write that down. I want to be sure the paperwork's in order now. Well, national interest calls on one to forge difficult alliances at times. Alliances with witches included. That alliance is dead. See, I killed Letho. Hmm. Hmm. I'll say the first one. No, wait. I'll say the bottom one. What happened to Letho? That an ongoing alliance? What's Letho up to? I had hoped you would answer that question. Ah, so Letho's hiding from you. Must have a good reason. Was there a shift in national interest that might have caused that? I don't know where he is. Wouldn't tell you if I did anyway. Blade or no blade to my throat. I believe that is all. Your signature, please, affirming you stated the whole truth and nothing but the truth on pain of imprisonment or death, etc, etc. Here and here. With these formalities seen to, I would ask the general to leave the room. We shall be choosing the gentleman's attire. An yeah. important matter, but one that does not require the general's assistance. Shame. I might have given you some advice. So long, Garrett. Good luck with your audience. Nice. Let's see it. See our attire. Yeah, look at that. Hmm. Which one is you? Feels more like I'm being readied for a wedding. Were that so, I would have prepared the gentleman a frock, a tailcoat, or possibly a dinner jacket. In point of fact, the gentleman will choose from these garments. Any color? As long as it's black? Where are my clothes? That's what I want to know. Where are they? Where are my clothes? Where they should have gone long ago, with the laundress. Damn. <laughs> they will be returned to you after the audience, clean and starched. The That's gentleman nice. will tell me once he has chosen an outfit. Alright, now that we finally have the chance to move around, let's take a look at these achievements. I want to see what the other achievement I unlocked was. Uh, Lilac and Gooseberries, yes. Butcher, Blaviken, and Can't Touch This. Damn! Yay! Yeah, eh? Killed five foes in a fight without taking damage and without using the Quen sign. What? <laughs> I didn't even know I did that. That's awesome. That's great. I, I was just trying to go for the kill at least five opponents in under 10 seconds. That was That's what I was aiming for, right? But then I ended up getting a second one at the same time. That's awesome. That's so great. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> All right. Anyways. Let's uh, continue on. We're going to get dressed and talk to the Chamberlain. But before we do uh, continue on, let me just make sure I'm looking at my checklist. I don't think I need to um, worry about anything just yet. But we do have some Gwent to play in the Royal Palace. And I think that's before we leave. If I'm looking at um, my notes properly, yeah. So before we leave the, the Palace, Vizima, we need to play Gwent. So we're going to worry about that once we get to it. For now, we're just going to get dressed. I think I want to... Hmm... Who am I digging? Kind of dig this one on the right. I like that a lot. Let's grab those. All right, I, I've equipped them. Oh, I guess I have to go to my inventory and actually choose them. Got it. Okay. Bam, look at that. And I got my towel, too. And they let me keep the towel. How nice of them. And it's worth 18 bucks? That's a nice towel. Oh, please. All right. All right, come on. I changed. I changed, buddy. Yeah, no worries. I already did. Relax. And they say clothes do not make the man. Does the outfit satisfy the gentleman? Suppose so. A studded doublet and a sword on my back, that's what would satisfy me. But tough, when in Nilfgaard. Yes. It's a saying. So what now? Powder my nose? 
No need. The gentleman's complexion is light enough. That's the funny. is to stand before the ruler of the north and south. I must confirm that he knows how to bow. I'm not a boar. I know how to bow. I'm not some boar. I know how to bow. Is he gonna do it? Please, demonstrate. Oh, boy. That, sir, is how you might bow to a whore on a street corner. <laughs> not to the Emperor of Nilfgaard. Damn, dude. Please watch. Leg extended, hand flat, head down, chin to chest. That's cool. The gentleman will rehearse. We're all learning. Oh shit! I was supposed to pay attention. Um, is it, it was left leg forward, right hand on chest, the left hand out. I remember that. There we go. You see that? <laughs> Close mm, enough. <laughs> Lacking fluidity and grace. But we've learned to expect less of Nordlings. Alright, bitch. Come with me. Alright, buddy. Yeah. I'll come with you. Alright. Follow the, the Chamberlain. Will address the Emperor only when asked to, and using the appropriate title. Your Arch Magnificency. I see the gentleman is in the mood for jests. I fear the Emperor might not share his disposition. Your Majesty will suffice. Spoken loudly, clearly, and with respect. Gotcha. No worries. In grimy ep art kerze. Dyfen aden in karn ep marvut. Emir var emreis. Bow. Oh, I'm gonna bow. You know what? Yeah, I'll bow. I'll bow. I'll bow. Wait, is that more of a dab? <laughs> Your Imperial Majesty. Arer ep do orde. Avelian namen vat gern favort. I thought you bowed before no man. Oops. <laughs> Didn't want to disappoint the Chamberlain. We're friends. Take it you didn't summon me to reminisce about the good old days, so... Silence. My daughter, Cyrilla. She's returned. And she's in danger. The wild hunt pursues her. You will find her and bring her to me. Why me? How many men in your army? 20,000? 30? So why me? You know why. Because she trusts you. She trusts me, yes. So tell me why you're looking for her. Doubt it's about making up for all those lost years. For reasons of state, as always. Enough of this banter. You will agree regardless. If for no other reason than because I shall pay you more than you customarily receive for a contract. Considerably more. Hmm. Only doing this for Siri. Save your generosity for those whose homes your armies have raised. I'll do it for Siri, not for your gold. Your motives do not interest me. Only results. Yennefer will tell you the rest. This audience is finished. Meredith! Okay. That was easy. To the sorceress. Okay. We're doing great. We're doing great. That was super quick. I thought it would be like a bigger discussion than that. But hey, all we know is we gotta find Siri, right? Please keep close. There are many honorable guests in the palace whom the gentleman disgusts. Need not bother. That's interesting. Okay. All right, so we just follow him, follow him over to Yennefer. But before we leave, I do want to uh, play this round of Gwent. I want to get the, this person's card and all that stuff. So should I do that after talking to Yennefer? I don't actually know. L let me see what my notes say. It just says speak to Emir, Emperor Emir. Uh, 
Okay, no, I think... I think we have to continue on. Yeah, once we once we have to leave, that's when we go for it. I got it. I think the guy is somewhere over here. The Gwent player is somewhere in this courtyard. I, I Maybe they haven't spawned. I guess we need to, uh, you know, before we leave, we have to do this quest. My bad, my bad. I'm, I'm getting too excited. I'm jumping the gun. And uh, uh, I want I want to play Gwent. <laughs> it's been it's been a while. Got it. Thank you. Hey, talk to Yennefer. Is this this isn't Yennefer? Oh, you know what? While we're here, let's loot the area. Yeah, let's grab some books because I know there's an achievement for collecting a lot of books. So this is like the best spot to do it. Well, I mean, like you're gonna collect a lot anyways, no matter what. Right, but if you, if you just you know, loot all these areas in this in this little, it's not necessarily a library, but in this palace, you're gonna find a ton of books. That'll help me get that achievement quicker and get it out of the way, right? But maybe I'm not stressing. Maybe, maybe I'll just get everything on the way and then head to uh, Yennefer. Yeah, don't worry about everything else. Geralt, that tunic, Aww. you look positively smashing. Thank you. Uh, dying to take it off. I'd consider that a proposition under different circumstances. <laughs> One I might even take you up on. But we've matters to attend to. Silly. Now do you understand why I'm at Amir's court? Uh-huh. And seems we're in the same boat now. Siri, she's really back? No chance he's mistaken? Look, that's more or less what she looks like now. Or so our agents claim. Our little witch has grown into a young lady. So they're our agents now. Huh. So they're our agents now? My, my. You've clearly settled in quick. Geralt, don't twist my words. I know who Amir is. He started this war and its bloodshed. He had my friends killed. But I haven't any other choice. So please, let's not belabor the pros and cons and instead focus on finding Ciri. All right? All right. Right. Amir said the wild hunts after her. I'd find that hard to believe before what happened yesterday. How did they track us down? Because of me. You see, I've spent months searching for Siri, using locating spells, haruspicy, geomancy, anything, really. I knew the Wild Hunt might sense it, perhaps even find me, but I thought I'd trick them. Damn. Oh, guess you were wrong. Hmm. I've sensed them on my trail, hunting me, for some time. If not for you and Amir's soldiers, they'd have gotten what they were after. I can't risk another encounter like that. It's time to put away the magic, turn to more traditional methods. To the best tracker I know. That's us. You must find her, Geralt. Before the Wild Hunt does. You got it. Yeah, what, what does the wild, wild want? What does the Wild Hunt want from Ciri? The Wild Hunt? What could it want from Ciri? I've no clue, Geralt. Might have written them to ask, but I don't have their address. All right. Okay. I know as much as you do. <laughs> it must be about her blood. Her gift. Mm -hmm. As for what the hunt wishes to do with that gift, I... I prefer not to think about it, really. So, where has Ciri been seen? So, where has Ciri been seen, exactly? In two places. Velen and Nova. Ah. The trail in Velen is most promising. You should make that your first stop. Ask for a merchant named Hendrik at the inn at the crossroads. One of the Emperor's agents. He should get in touch with you. That's it? No passwords? Secret handshakes? None. Sorry to spoil your fun. Your boyhood fantasies about the crafts of the trade. All we have in Novigrad are unconformed reports, rumors. But there you will have the help of our mutual acquaintance. Tris Merigold. Apparently Ooh. she's got a cozy flat on the main square. Sure she'll be delighted to see me. What about you? What will you do? I shall sail for Skelliger. There was a magic explosion there recently. Blew half a forest down. I believe this had something to do with Ciri. I'll be in care trolled. Join me there once you've learned something. Got it. All right. Yeah, before we part, why didn't you contact me earlier? Come on, Yen, why? 
One thing before we go. Why didn't you contact me? Didn't need me? Didn't even want to see me? Oh, Carol. I didn't want to spoil things. I'd heard you and Triss made a great couple. Yen, I'd lost my memory. Really? That's your excuse? Let's drop it, all right? It's not what you think, or it helped me understand how much I love you. I don't wish to hear it. Any of it. Damn, okay, jeez. Guess this means we need to split up again. Not my preference, but I understand. Clock's ticking. Mm -hmm. It is indeed. So why don't I teleport you to Vell and get you there at once? Not gonna happen. I'll go on horseback, as soon as I can get changed. Have it your way? Oh, and you really look quite dashing in black velvet. Think so? Maybe I can have some of my armor lined with it. <laughs> Good luck, Yen. Same to you. And if you wish to learn what's happened in the world while you and Vesemir roam the wilderness, talk to Ambassador Vartra. That's him over there. And Geralt, I know it's wartime, but try not to be a hero, all right? Just check those leads and come back to me in one piece. Oh, that's nice. I should be waiting. Right. She gonna teleport away? Let's see it. Oh yeah, here she goes. I thought she was putting the magic away. What are you doing? I guess that's one way to get to Skellige, right? It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Alright, so now it's time for us to retrieve our equipment and get out of here. We're gonna talk to... What's his name? Baron Von Atra? Is that who we're talking to? We'll talk to him and then uh, we'll do the Gwent. Scars healed nicely. Hey, Reed. Oh, am I just looking at pictures there? Got it. Yeah, that's Siri. That's Siri all grown up. Alright. Uh, ooh. Yeah, loot that, please. Letter to Yennefer. Where's this letter to Yennefer with Yennefer's instructions? Uh, I don't know. It's, uh, that's so much. It's so much. Pause it if you're interested in reading it. I've scrolled down to the bottom. So if you're interested in reading it, go ahead. I don't want to. <laughs> okay. All right. So yeah, so this guy right here, right? Ambassador Var Atra. So we'll speak to him really quickly. I don't know, not for too long. If it's interesting, we'll keep talking. We'll see what he has to say. Varatra. Yennefer suggested I ask you about current events, mm -hmm. the war and so on. Of course. The Emperor's servants should keep no secrets from each other. If you will, let us approach the map. Oh, cool. We're getting some lore. That's pretty cool. What's happening? Oh, okay. What's the latest from Skellige? What's new in Skellige? Nothing. The islanders pride themselves on that, don't they? Doing everything according to tradition, as their forefathers did. And like their forefathers, they quarrel with each other. Pillage. Occasionally attack our transports. This is cumbersome, but nothing more. Skelliger has always been a footnote to history, and so it shall remain. Interesting. Okay. Sound awfully confident. What if King Bran manages to unite the Jarls? Lead all the clans against your fleet? King Bran is a feeble old man. From what I know, he barely remembers the names of his own vassals. Uniting all might prove difficult. Okay, what's new in Novigrad? Any news from Novigrad? Is the free city still free? Yes, although everyone knows this won't last. Radovid is in Oxenfurt, and the Emperor is here in Vizima, at Novigrad's doorstep, both. And both require coin and ships. Novigrad can provide these. Which is why the mood in the city is rather, well, on edge. Meaning? How do men deal with fear? They seek reassurance and scapegoats. The Church of the Eternal Fire understands this perfectly, and so it promises to improve the lives of its flock by pointing out the guilty. Interesting, okay. Who started the war? Who profits from it? Why, it's obvious. Mages, elves, dwarves, in a word, any and all deviants. Hmm. I've been stationed in Novigrad for 13 years. First as a consul, then as ambassador. 
I've seen a great deal. Cruelty, cynicism, greed. But what is happening there now concerns me greatly. Okay. What's the situation in Velen? Hmm. How do things look in Velen? As bad as ever. Perhaps worse. This land never flowed with milk and honey, and now it flows with blood. Armies have swept through it several times, trampling fields, looting granaries, burning villages. Famine grips the populace. Mm-hmm. So how's ruling that earthly paradise going for you? Not well, to be honest. Our forces are spread thin as it is, and Velen is chiefly swampy forests that are difficult to control. We've had several patrols never return to their camps. Thus, we've temporarily delegated authority in this region to a certain Nordling, a former low-ranking officer in the Temerian army, one Philip Strenger, better known by his nom de guerre, the Bloody Baron. Oh. I advise you well. Avoid him. Wow. Wow. Look at all this lore we're getting. Try to soak it in, because all this information is honestly pretty relevant. That's awesome. All right, how's the war going? How's the war going? I mean, apart from the fact that Nilfgaard's triumph is imminent. I assume this to be a private conversation. We've no witnesses, so let's dispense with the propaganda, even that shrouded in irony. Our offensive was going splendidly until winter came. Edern was in such disarray that we encountered no resistance. We had reached the Pontar before the first snows. Only a weakened Kedwin remained, and Radovid's Redania, which had ignored the rest of the North's pleas for help. We thought they'd sue for peace, perhaps even submit to vassalization. We waited for spring, certain of victory. Radovid? Submit? Yes, a vain hope, I agree. Radovid sent no peace envoys, nor did he advance on our positions. Instead, he trudged over the snow-bound Kestrel Mountains and attacked Kedwin, his ally. This attack took the Kedweni by surprise. They were still mourning the loss of their king. Rudderless and dejected, they laid down their arms after a few lost skirmishes and joined Radovid. And so by spring, instead of two weak enemies, we had only one powerful one. Wow. Wow, so Radovid is like ruthless. He's a ruthless ruler, whoa. That's cool. Is that a note of admiration I hear? Yeah. What about Kovir? Let's hear about Kovir. I, I don't even know where that is. What about Kavir? Kavir, my bad. Kavir its neutrality. Enough not to lend its armies, or more importantly, even its coin to either side. Returning to the war, this spring there was a massive battle in the marshes of Velen. Massive, yet indecisive. Both sides suffered enormous losses. Unprecedented, even. Radovid has retreated across the Pontar. He's safe for now. Until reinforcements arrive from the south. Then Emperor Emir Var Emrys will deal with him once and for all. Couldn't you just go home? Save everyone a lot of marching, not to mention a few human lives. I'm afraid the stakes are too high to fold now. We can only go all in. Wow. Look at that. That's a lot of information to soak in. That's really cool to hear. Thanks for your help. Think nothing of it. May the great sun light your path. Cool. That was super cool. I see this shining in the background. Let's loot the area while we're here. Oh, whoa. What did I just loot? I got a relic. What did I... What was that? What's it? What? Wait, was that my stuff? That wasn't my stuff. What was that? <laughs> did you see that? What? I got a relic. Crazy, I don't even know what I just picked up. I got a diagram. Okay. Cool, I mean, that's pretty cool with me. Awesome. All right, let's speak to him. How might I serve the gentleman? By returning my things. Damn right. Citrus and cloves. The fragrance will keep the gentleman's robes fresh somewhat longer. Mm. Thanks, Bunches. <laughs> the Emperor is not known for his patience. He wants his daughter back safe and sound, as soon as possible. Yeah, mention something of the sort. So long. Sweet. 
All right, so now it's time for us to travel to Velen, but first we need to play Gwent. So really quickly, I'm going to save my game. I don't think it matters uh, if I do lose, but just in case, you know, I lose money and I can't re attempt this. I want to uh, save my game. Switch to continent view. Oh, it's trying to get me to go to the world map right away. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We know this. I Well, I know this. I know how to use the map. It's all good. Okay, and let's see the inventory now that I picked that stuff up. So I got a relic. Nine-tailed vixen silver sword. What is this? What is this? It, it requires level 11, so I can't use it yet. That's for sure. I need eight more levels, but what did I pick up? That's pretty cool. I like that. I, li I like that I found some uh, cool stuff. But damn. I wasn't expecting it, that's for sure. Okay, let's put that in there. Ooh, I have a chance to freeze if I if I put that on. Uh, yeah, let's do a chance to freeze on my steel weapon. Hell yeah, that's awesome. And do I need to repair them at all? No, I do not. Not yet, at least. Okay, and let's equip the armor. Bam, bam, bam. Is this? Are these boots better? These boots are, in fact, better. Let's go. Okay, and then gloves. Bam. All right, and that's it. The rest can stay where they're at. And do, do I have any food? I have some bread and some dumplings. Sweet. All right, sure. Why not? All right. And great. So wait, let me save my game now. Now that I've done all this like customization crap, I got to like overwrite that save so that way I have an actual useful save if I do reload the checkpoint. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> you get what I'm saying? We're going to talk to the Nilfgaardian nobleman, beat him in Gwent and acquire his card. I believe. I believe that's what we have to do. Mm. Mm. Gwent, play me. It's as easy as that. All right, so we're going to bet just uh, three. Nah, we're going to bet five. We'll bet what five bucks at least. Of cards. Okay, sweet. So now I definitely want to bring in the decoy. Anybody else useful? Not really. All these are like whatever cards, if you ask me. I'm good with what I got right now. Start the game. Let's go. We'll beat his ass. Man, it's been a while since I played Gwent. It's good to get back into it. Okay. So, do I want to get rid of anything? I'll get rid of the uh, clear weather because my Emperor card down at the bottom left actually clears the weather. So, I don't need clear weather. I got a decoy. Let's go. Uh-huh. Let me go ahead and get rid of the Biting Frost, I think. Yeah, get rid of the Biting Frost. All right, let's go. Let's win this. Okay. Let's go ahead and start off with our two close range. Our close range cards. Yeah, just like they will. All right. Oh, you got to love the love the Gwent music. So good. Okay. So we've got... Oh, boy. You Scorch. Oh, my God. They got rid of... Oh, such a bummer. But I can bring him back if I wanted to. Oh, you know what? I actually might do that. Sweet. Yeah, let's bring back Zoltan Chevet. Sweet. So yeah, if you see the heart on a card, you see the heart on the bottom row. That means you can bring back someone from your discard pile. So it's super, super useful. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is go ahead and use the decoy to get that card back because that's just such a good card. And let's see. This one. Oh, they passed. Let's go. Thank you very much. We're going to go ahead and just... Uh, do that to their card at the back, and now we win. We automatically win the round. Easy peasy. All right. Let's go ahead and pass. I think we're good. I don't need to place anything else. Yep, pass. Sweet. Round one. We won round one. Now we got to win round two. Hopefully we win round two, and then uh, we'll get the hell out of here. It's as easy as that. No stress. Okay. So yeah, we'll just go ahead and place down our trebuchet or catapult, whatever that was. I actually don't know which one that was. Oh boy. Oh, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. I got uh, I got some fog, so it'll fill up the middle row and do exactly what the rain did in the previous one. So I'm going to hold on to that fog until we see the middle row populate a bit more. And I'll troll. I'll troll the enemy. <laughs> okay. We're going to place this one down. Bam. And we'll fill up the back row for now. Okay. Oh yeah? Damn. They added, uh, they doubled the morale on that one row. That's actually frustrating. <laughs> it's a good thing I have the fog though. That's for sure. It's a really good thing I have the fog. Okay. All right. What you gonna play? 
Oh boy. Look at that row. It's a pretty powerful roll. Oh my god. And they brought back they brought back the one at the top too. Jeez. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and just place the fog now. So that way I'm not getting crushed. <laughs> and then we'll see what to do from here. Oh, they got a hero card that brings back something useful. Oh no, no, no. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Should I keep going? What should I do? Hmm. What should I do? Hmm. 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 <laughs> I don't know what to do. I'm going to place down her and bring back the highest card. Yeah, I'll bring back Soldan Chevet. There we go. So now I'm winning. And I'll make them use a card as well. Okay. Alright, keep it up. Keep it up. Yeah, let's go. I'm currently winning. So they have to use a card to win the next round. Which is a great thing. So yeah, let's, let's pass that. Because then, you know, they have to use a card to win. We're doing great. We're doing great. Let's see it. Oh, oh, I mean, at least they use the card, right? At least they use the card. Okay, so now we just go up. We go next. I think they start first. So go ahead, place your card, boy. Let's see what you got. Yeah, Scorch. <laughs> You're trash. Well, you didn't Scorch any of my cards. That's how trash you are. Let's go. We're already winning. I'm going to place down all my cards because the opponent has passed. Bam. We won that first attempt. First attempt. Let's go. Hey, we won the round. That's a Gwent victory. Awesome. Look at that. That's great. Easily done. And we got, um, I think, yeah, we got full test his Gwent card. And I don't think we need to talk to him again because he's not on the map. He's not on the map as an exclamation mark. So we can leave. All right. Awesome. Now let's travel over to Velen. Let's get the hell out of here. I can't run. It's not letting me run. We'll head over to Velen and we'll hopefully unlock one more achievement when we do arrive there. Let's get out of here. Fast travel over to... Wait, let me uh, go ahead and... World map and go to No Man's Land. Hanged Man's Tree. That's where we're headed. Look at all those freaking notice boards. Oh my god. There's so many. Holy. Okay, so... I think this is where the Bloody Baron is located. This is, um, this isn't Novigrad. Wait, no, it, it, that is Velen, and Novigrad is up here, I think. I can't remember, like, fully remember. But, uh, yeah, of course, we have to start off at Hangman's Tree, so that's, of course, where we're going to start. Let's fast travel right there. Geralt and Yennefer were reunited, but something even more important happened in Vizima. Geralt learned that Cirilla, his one-time ward, had returned from afar and she was in danger. He was to find her at the Emperor's command and Yennefer's behest. Awesome. Gotta love that. I like how when you fast travel or like reload a checkpoint, it gives you a story recap so you know where you're at. It's really important for a game like this where it's like such a long game. You need to be reminded of things, that's for sure. Awesome. Oh, look at that. Ooh, yeah, Hangman's Tree, that's for sure. Damn, picked clean. Ugh. Here we are. We've made it. Oh, look at that. So awesome. So cool. All right. So yeah, we've also unlocked the ability to access the DLC, which is good, but we can't, of course, like actually do the DLC because look, level 32 is required for <laughs> for um, the Hearts of Stone. So yeah, we can't even touch that. All right, let's see. So we got a few quests that we are going to head for. I think we're not going to focus on any of the main quests yet. We're first going to um, be focusing on some side quests to get our level up, hopefully do some contracts, all that good stuff. But to begin, we are going to do one thing. Um, okay, we're, we're getting all these notifications about DLC and whatnot. We're going to do one thing. We are going to go for the achievement, if you give me one second. We're going to go for the achievement, triple threat. So, for this achievement, we need to kill three opponents in one fight using three different methods. So, the swords, bombs, crossbows, or signs. So, we need to kill three of them. And apparently, there are dogs right in this area here. I think we can see them on the map on the top right. So we're going to use those dogs. We're just going to go ahead and save the game right now. I think I can meditate to respawn them. 
but I'm gonna be saving the game just so that way, you know, I can easily reload if anything went wrong. Okay, so we're gonna start off with a bomb equipped, and we're gonna have Igni equipped as well. We're gonna run straight into this pack here. We're gonna throw the bomb. Let me throw the bomb. Oh, that's Samum. Shit, I didn't mean to throw Samum. I meant to throw Dancing Star. All right, let me go ahead and do this. Oh, Jesus, we're falling apart here. All right, bam. Bam, there's there's one killed with... Uh, oh, no, wait, I didn't kill anybody. What? Hold on, let me, let me kill this one here. Oh, Jesus, oh, Jesus. All right, bam. There's one, come on, I'm trying to kill one with a bomb. Oh, my God, this is... Oh, I'm falling apart here. All right, let me go and try one more time. Let me kill it, let me kill it. Oh, did I miss it? Jesus. All right, I failed, I failed, I failed. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm trying to just kill these level one wild dogs, but it's not it's not working out how I hoped it would All right, you know what since we have to kill them three different ways, right? So I have to uh, give it a shot with a crossbow then now. That's what uh, it looks like All right, so let's first of all go ahead and target this one Igni bam. I killed it with Igni So now I've killed one with a sword one with uh, a sign and now I'm going for crossbow So at least we have a backup. We don't have to use bombs but bombs would have made this so much easier. I wish I would have uh, been able to kill that first one. Yo, come here, come here, come here. Don't run away. Don't run away, don't run away. Get over here. Where are you going? Thank you. Yeah, stay over, stay over here. Let me kill you. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> scared me. All right, buddy, 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 relax, relax. I'm just trying to kill your friend over here. All right, come on. Oh, God, dude, get out of the way. Oh my God, I'm hitting the other dog. One more, one more, here's our achievement. Let's go, let's see it. Is that triple threat unlocked or is it not? Bam, where's my achievement at? Let's see it. Let's see what we got. We'll loot them while we uh, wait for the achievement to pop. Okay, oh, we got some herbs, look at that. No achievement? What a bummer. Oh, there it is. There it is, triple threat unlocked. We killed three opponents in one fight using three different methods. So we used a sword, we used the Bow, bow and arrows, crossbow, yeah. We used the crossbow, and then of course we used our sign, Igni. Bam, that's three different ways. Awesome, we're being very productive. We're popping some achievements in this video, that is for sure. Okay, now that we've killed them all, I'm gonna meditate so that way I can get our potions back up. And then uh, let's go ahead and head to this notice board right over here in this village nearby. And I think there might be someone to play, get, to play Gwent against as well. I gotta pull up the map, but uh, that might be for another time. We'll see, we'll see. Because I definitely need to be pretty thorough. Because <laughs> if you see this map, let me let me open up the map one more time. If you see how big it is, look at how many different like villages there are. There are so many different notice boards and stuff, and there are so many different locations for us to play Gwent. That's gonna be fun. It's gonna be quite fun. That's gonna be for maybe another time. Right now, I just want to... Uh, Maybe do one side quest, maybe do one little thing before we, you know, move on. All right, let's see. Uh, wait, I might, I keep following the, you know, the location of the main quest because of course you, you get you get it laid out the path for you, but I meant to follow my marker. I gotta get used to that. All right, here's our notice board. Let's see, what do we got? Do we have a contract here? No contract, or maybe this is a contract, missing wife, no. Doesn't look like it, but I do think we just collected a quest. Let's see. We got our quests. We got a secondary quest, Wild at Heart. Okay. All right. So, talk to the hunter named Neelan. That's a level seven quest, though. Damn. I don't know about that. <laughs> um, maybe I just go ahead and see if I can play Gwent against anybody in this area here. I think I can. I think I can. Let me just check the map real quick. Oh, that was a that was a loud noise for the quest. Let me check the map and uh, see what I can do. One second, one second. All right, so let me see where we are on the map. I'm taking a look. Uh, so yeah, where we're currently located, there is actually one right over here. I think I can get it right. Yeah, there's one over here, right near where I'm at. I think right over here, right where my marker is. So there should be a Gwent player right over here. Look at that. This is not the Gwent player, but is this the Gwent player? Peasant, maybe it's a Smith. Maybe it's a Smith. So if I can get, uh, get the blacksmith to appear, then I'll uh, be able to play Gwent against them. All right, last attempt. If not, we're out of here. Uh, 8 a.m. If I made it 8 a.m., that's work start time, right? 
It's unfortunate. Whatever. Oh, but that's not... That's not a blacksmith. That's the same peasant, isn't it? Yeah. He's a peasant. Alright, well, I'm gonna go ahead and move to a different location then. Um, if I really want to play <laughs> Gwent, I could head over to Stepan. Stepan? Stepan? Stepan. Stepan. I don't know how to pronounce that. I could head over to that location, or I could head over here. I'll just head over to this area here, because I want to do one more quest. I want to do one more quest, that is for sure. Okay. Uh, Roach. Come here. Hey, buddy. Okay, let's head to our marker. Let's go. Oh, man. So, yeah. Now that we finished White Orchard, that was our tutorial level. Basically, a tutorial level, if you ask me. So, we got, like, a ton to do in, in Velen and Novigrad. And then Skellige, after we finish this area, there is so much for us to do. We have a ton of contracts to complete as well. So, we're just getting started, if you ask me. We are definitely just getting started. What's going on here? Oh, are there drowners? Let me get you. Let me get you. Leave him be. Oh. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Why? Why? Why do I not have swallow? Did I not uh, meditate? I should have some swallow. What the hell, man? All right. Whoa. Jesus. Look at you guys, huh? They're flailing around. They're they're definitely more powerful than uh, what I'm used to. Are they necrophages? I don't actually know if they're necrophages. Let's check the the bestiary, right? Let's see if we can see um, drowners here. Oh, they are necrophages. Look at that. So if we acquire or if we assign necrophage oil, then we'll be doing more damage. Actually, didn't know that uh, drowners were necrophages. So that's great to know. All right, let's go. Bam. Yeah, take that. Oh, come on. How did I miss that? That was a good wind up too. Bam. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Relax. Bam. Just a few more roach. Get out of the way, buddy. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, one more, one more. Bam. Taken out. All right, what's up with you? I mean, let me eat these. Or <laughs> loot these drowner brains, not eat them. What's up, John Verdon? Unbind me before the next ones come. You got it. When they come, I'll tend to them. Meanwhile, let's you and me chat. Like to know who I'm untying. Very fair. John Verdon. Served in the 10th Maribor Division. Long way from your army. The army don't exist no more. Black one smashed it a bit. I scarped off into the woods just before that happened. Join a group of refugees. Fucking bursting with patriotism they were. As soon as they learned I'd abandoned Tamaria in her hour of need, they beat me down. Tied me up like a turkey, left me to the drowners. I'll untie you. Fine, I'll help. Oh, thanks. For a minute there, I was almost sure you'd leave me to die. I was thinking about it. <laughs> I'd like to thank you somehow, but I've not a chip crown to my name. Tough. I'll take the loss. Yeah. Thanks, Witcher. May you prosper on the path. How nice. Appreciate it. That was nice. All right. Cool. So let's go ahead and... Uh, Head to our destination that I originally intended to. I want to see if I can get any uh, any actual quests there. But now, let's actually meditate. Because I don't know why I don't have more swallow. So I meditate for one hour. And no strong alcohol in inventory. Oh, I'm a dumbass. Ah, no, I'm not a dumbass. I'm not a dumbass. I gotta be kinder. I gotta be kinder to myself. <laughs> I'm just silly. Because I don't have alcohol in my inventory. I can't um, stock up on bombs or um, restock on bombs, I should say. Restock on bombs or potions. I gotta make sure I, I keep that in mind. I gotta, like, loot or buy alcohol so that way whenever I meditate, I do have that. I actually totally forgot about that factor of it. I always thought that you could just always have, um, like, always meditate and always regain everything. But it's not free. You know what I mean? It's it's not for free. So it's, it's good to know. It's good knowledge to have. That's for sure. Okay, let's see what we got in this village here. Is it another notice board? I can't actually recall. I think it is another notice board. Oh boy. Chill. Who's coming? What's going on here? Strangers? What do you mean strangers? Ooh, is that a contract? No, I don't know if it is a contract. We'll see. But first, let's go ahead and buy alcohol. Thanks, thanks to this uh, innkeep, we can purchase alcohol. Looking for a man. Goes by Hendrik. 
What do you want with him? Want to talk to him. What about? Give me a bottle of something strong. What's going on? I just showed up. I'm here to get alcohol, man. You gotta go. I'll open the back way for you. Expecting visitors? Got company. Who is it? In Cape Vodka. Who's this? A brave warrior, looks like. Got two swords, see? Oi! Great boy! What's the point of having two swords? Wonder if he keeps an extra prick in his trousers, too. You fucking damn! <laughs> Gonna say who you are? Or do I need to loosen your tongue with me knife? Yikes. Ooh. I'm a witcher. I'm a witcher. Heard you wondering about my swords. Well, one's for monsters. The other, for humans. That's badass. That's so badass. I've only got one prick, though. In case you're wondering <laughs> about that, too. Don't touch him. Don't even look at him. Worse than lepers, that lot. Saw one in action once. Killed a half dozen. Blood everywhere. Freak didn't even show a drop of sweat. Got the stench of corpses on him. If you want to rest, come with me. Or the bench you can use. How do I smell? I just got this stuff cleaned. No way. I shouldn't smell. I didn't mean to talk to this guy about Hendrik. <laughs> I, I just wanted some alcohol, man. Thanks for not starting a row with those swine. No worries. I don't generally poke my nose in other people's business. Looking to stay the night? No. Huh. I'm looking for Hendrik. Man lives in Heatherton. Don't know where that is. Other side of the hill. Looked that away this morning and saw a strange glow. Imperials on the raid, perhaps. But who knows? What do you know about Hendrik? Anything else you can tell me about Hendrik? Odd fellow. Arrived from who knows where and for no apparent reason. Shacked up with a widow whose husband was stabbed for a scrap of bread. Baron's men don't like strangers. Aye, he stays out of their way. Always seems to know when they're coming. Always manages to disappear. Thanks, Inkeep. Whoa. Whoa, and now I can finally talk to the Inkeep for his Inkeep stuff, you know? Uh... Yeah, wouldn't mind a drink. Wouldn't mind a drink. Show me what you got. Finally. I have 11 bucks, bro. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, let me just go ahead and sell this. I see some Gwent stuff. Ooh. Can I sell my boots? He doesn't accept boots. Goddamn. Uh, Commander Thorn. Damn, those are actually useful cards too. And look, Emir Var Emrys. 50. Ah, <laughs> I need to, first of all, buy strong alcohol, so I gotta come back here at some point to remember this. Um, where's the alcohol? This isn't alcohol. That's water. Is this alcohol? That None of these are alcohol. What? What kind of innkeep doesn't have alcohol? Okay, um... I guess I'll go ahead and purchase this. And now I have 11 coins. And I can't afford anything else. <laughs> Good enough, I guess. Do I have a torch? Might as well take a torch. No, I, I have a torch. Good. Oh, wait, no. I have not enough coin. Never mind. But I, I think I have a torch Thanks. still. Farewell. Anyways. Anyways. <laughs> I gotta be on the lookout for some alcohol. And I definitely need to get my money up. So that's, that's uh, gonna be priority. But now, with all that, I think that's where we're going to be ending this video. A pretty productive one, if you ask me. We unlocked a few achievements. We completed some things for the main story. And we're not stopping anytime soon. That's for sure. I do want to get into a lot of the side content so we can level up before we get on with the main quest for the Nilf Guardian connection. But that'll come in time. That'll come in time. That is for sure. So I do hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy the video, please do consider dropping a like. And of course, if you did enjoy the content enough, please do consider sticking around and subscribing. We're going to be continuing on with this game, unlocking all of the achievements, and it's going to be an awesome time. And you definitely don't want to miss out on that. So definitely stick around and subscribe. And we're doing the exact same thing with many more games. Currently, we're doing Mass Effect and Tide the Tasmanian Tiger 2. But we're also going to be doing that with many more games to come. So you definitely don't want to miss out on that. All right, anyways, thank you so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed, and I hope you have a great day. I will see you 
in the next one.